distant time and faraway place, the planet of New Texas floats deep in space. Sky of three suns, land of precious ore, the carrion rush brought out by the score. A lawman appeared with powers of pop, wolf, puma, and bear. Protector of peace, mystic man from afar. Champion of justice, Marshal Craig Star. Molly, it's an electro telescope. Ordered it months ago. To get the electro telescope? What it does? Lenty, come on to my office. I'll show you. Astronomy is one of my hobbies. With this, I can see just about any planet or star in our solar system. You see, Fuzz, there are all kinds of stars red stars, yellow stars, dark stars, light stars. Ooh, Doc, maybe sometime you show me all kinds of stars. Oh, sure, of course. Hmm, now that's strange. What's strange? Well, that, that planet. It's not from our solar system. It shouldn't be there. Then how it get here, huh? I don't know, and I don't like the looks of it. This is Space Control. Emergency transmission to Space Cruiser 174. Please respond. Repeat, priority transmission. Urgent. Do you read us? Yeah, yeah, I read you. So what's your problem? There have been reports of unusual turbulence. No idea what's causing it, but it shook up a couple of cruisers in your sector, so be careful. If they can't handle a few jolts, that's their problem. I can take care of myself. Hey, I only want to help. Yeah, well, I don't need your help. Every time I had to count on someone else, I got nothing but grief. Over and out. Hey, what's going on? Beautiful country around here, 3030. <laughs> if you think this place is beautiful, you must think buzzards are beautiful too. Hey, look, over there. Smoke. We better check it out. Let's go, big part. Hang on. <laughs> it's jumping time. <laughs> long-haul space cruiser, and it's gonna fall into that crevice unless I come up with a ton of muscle. Strength of the bear! bear. bear. I was just about to ask you the same thing. But take it easy until I get you over to Doc Clayton. 
My name's Retro. Retro West. But I don't see where it's any of your business. Well, it's just that I sometimes like to know who I'm treating. Ow! Watch it! Oh, sorry. You sure have a nasty sprain there. Any idea what caused your ship to go out of control? Some kind of turbulence. But as soon as I get the ship fixed, I'm jetting out of this one turbo mule town. Look, fella, you're lucky this one turbo mule town had somebody to pull you out of your ship and a doctor to treat you. All right, all right. I just want to get out of here. I'm afraid you won't be going anywhere until your arm heals. No one tells me what to do. I'm leaving it. Ow! Marshal, may I speak to you for a minute? Sure. What is it? I think I know what caused Retro's ship to crash. And if I'm right, it spells trouble with a capital T. Trouble? What do you mean? Soup's on! Hope you don't mind, Doc, but I fixed your patient something that'll perk him up a bit. Here you go. Some of Molly's homemade hot off the laser chicken soup. <coughs> well, I'll be a Venusian's glump farm. Not even a simple thank you. I can't believe it. <coughs> Don't you have any manners, Retro? You could at least have said thank you. Molly was just trying to be friendly. Yeah, friendly? Who needs friends? Everybody needs friends. You will realize it someday. I hope it won't be too late. I've got the transmission from Space Control you were waiting for, Doc. It's filled with so much scientific mumbo-jumbo, I can't make any sense out of it. This is worse than I thought. How about filling me in? This is a runaway planet. It's completely out of control. It broke away from its own solar system, way over here. But, but it's on a collision course with New Texas. As I said, trouble with a capital T. We've got to find a way to stop it. How much time do we have? 20, maybe 24 hours. No more. It's starting already. That tremor was caused by the runaway planet's gravitational field. Land sakes! There's got to be something we can do to stop that planet. I don't see what. I've got it. Magnemite. It's a super explosive. What do you say, Doc? Well, properly placed in exactly the right spot on the planet, but that's easier said than done. Come on, let's move. Those tremors are going to become more violent as the runaway planet gets closer. Here it is, our emergency supply of magnemite. Whoa, that's mighty powerful stuff. It could knock the planet to pieces. Brave Star, what if there's life on that planet? No problem. From what we know of its solar system, it's not possible that anybody's on that planet. Let's check it out on the way there. On our way there? And just how are you figuring we're going to get to that planet? None of our ships are fast enough. Maybe not one of ours, but there's another ship that might be. Oh, no, you ain't using my ship. Anyway, I can't do no piloting with this bad arm of mine. You don't have to, friend. I can do it. Just <laughs> you? A woman? Hey, where I come from, women don't know nothing about things like that. <laughs> well, if this ain't where you come from, if your ship can fly, I can fly it. Believe her, Retro. Before she took over the strato stage, Molly used to pilot space cruisers. Yep, that's right. <laughs> of course, they were uh, the early models. Early models? Oh, that cinches it. I'm not gonna let you... I'm not asking. I'm telling. Your ship is the only chance, and I'm taking over. Hey, what's he doing here? Keeping an eye on my ship. Never mind him, Molly. We're running out of time. Let's get going. Oh, I guess I'll have to show you how to get this thing started. Well, I guess you don't have to show me how to get this thing started. Hey, not bad for a woman. Hang on to your ass, buckaroos! <laughs> Here we go! Hey, what are you doing? I thought you said you could fly this thing. That's what I said, Buster, and that's what I'm doing! Oh, no! We're gonna hit that cliff! More power, Molly. We're not climbing fast enough. <laughs> it's no use! She's giving me all she's got! Hang on, Molly. I'll get the power thrusters. Pull it up! Pull it up! Whew, that's a relief. I really thought we bought it this time. Not out of the woods yet. 
Using that extra power to get us off ate up a lot of fuel. Don't know if we got enough to get back to New Texas. cutting through the planet's gravitational force field. It's really slowing us down. We'd better reverse fire our max missiles. What? That could be dangerous. We have no choice. If we don't speed up, that planet's gonna smash into New Texas. Okay, Marshal. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Any indications of life? Nope, not a thing. It's all clear for us to blow it sky high. Look at those mountains and crevices. It may not be possible to land. Well, then how are we going to plant the explosives? By dropping them. Molly, I want you to fly this crate low. And I mean real low. Well, Gravestar, are you sure that magnemite is enough to do the job? It's more than enough. Properly placed, it'll explode the planet into harmless particles. Be easy with it, Marshal. Even with the delayed timing device, if the magnemite lands hard enough, it'll explode. I'll take it easy. So long as the ship stays steady. A little lower, Molly. And slower. You're too low! Pull up! Knock it off, Retro. Leave the flying to us. I'm a inch and down, Marshal. Inch and down. There's got to be a soft place! Okay, Molly, let's get out of here. When the timer goes off, that planet will be history. And New Texas will be safe again. Yeah! What do you say I put this ship on automatic pilot so as I can break out some grub? <laughs> this calls for a celebration. The bioscan is moving. There must be life on the planet after all. But it can't be. But it is. Then we've got to disarm the magnemite, or there won't be life for long. Molly, turn around and take this buggy down. Yes, sir. We're on our way. Hey, you can't land my ship on that death trap. Maybe not, but I'm gonna try. Hey, stop her, Marshal. Why should we risk our lives some stupid alien life forms? They probably aren't even human. Gotcha! Gravestar. What are you doing? Uh, what is in the jar? A butterfly. Beautiful, huh? I'm gonna keep it in my room. Mm, but a butterfly cannot live long in a jar. It will die. But I want to keep it. And it's... it's only a butterfly. Only a butterfly? Mm, the smallest creature in the universe is important, for it has life. And any form of life is precious. And you must protect life, not take it. You must promise me you will always remember that. Yes, Shaman, I'll remember. I tell you, there is nothing we can do about any life down there. We gotta save our own skins, not some animal life that might be there. The smallest creature in the universe is precious. Take her down, Molly. Yes, sir, Marshal. Here we go. Oh, no, you don't. Get those controls! Hey! What are you doing? Let go of that! Let go of me, you stupid toads! This is my ship and I say we fly out of here! Hey! Get this sun under off me! That rock is gonna blow! You're gonna get us all killed! I hate doing this, Retro, but you leave me no choice! You can't do this! All right, Molly, let's go. We're running out of time. It's pretty barren, all right. We better split up and take a look around. That magnemite bomb will go off in 15 minutes. Let's go, and be careful. Answer me, you varmint! 
we ain't got time for playing games. We gotta get you and us out of here. <laughs> Any luck? Nope. If there's any kind of life here, I can't find it. Get Molly and bring her here. Right. Hey, let me out! We've got to get off this place before she blows! on this crummy planet for, huh? Get out of my way. See anything, Molly? Didn't see a blasted thing, Marshal. I sure did hear me some noise. I swear something's living around here. We've got less than ten minutes. Look, the ship! Come on, you old crate. Get me out of here before everything blows. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? It's retro. Why is he ejecting? Cause I know that he tried to strand us here. Wait till I get my hands on him. Oh no! Oh no, no! Help! Help! <laughs> <laughs> yourself in deep trouble this time, didn't you? And it serves you right. Stop making jokes and get me out of here. Hey, I ain't joking. Look, there's our ship. It's coming back. We've got five minutes before the bomb goes off. Careful, Retro. Ah! Hurry, let's get Retro. It's no use. The boulder. I'm stuck. You and Doc head back for the ship. Maybe I can... What? Hey, where'd they come from? I don't know who or what you critters are, but I got a feeling you want to help. Hang in there, Retro. I'll lift. You guys go under. Okay. Hey, these little guys saved my life. Are there any more of you around? Hey, I get a feeling they're trying to tell us they're the only critters left on the planet. Come on, you two. Let's take off before this place turns to dust. We don't have much fuel. Sure hope we got enough for us to get us away before that bomb goes off. Well, here goes nothing. Time for me to leave. I, uh, guess this is goodbye, huh? So long, friends. Hmm. I can't get over the change in that fella. <laughs> he ain't a grouch no more. <laughs> I guess that's what having friends can do for a person. You might be little critters, but uh, you taught me a big lesson about how all life is precious. You risked yours to save mine. I won't forget you. Huh? 
you won't be forgetting them, all right? Because it looks like you got yourself a couple of new partners. <laughs> My old biology textbook. You know, Brave Star, it's really amazing how many forms life can take. Animals, insects, trees, flowers. Equestroids. Right, you too, 3030, and we've all got one important thing in common. In common? What's that? Each and every life is important. What? You mean a flower's as important as I am? Yep, but not half as pretty. Uh, I agree. <laughs> <laughs>